Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is the Peace Dealer with a very important PSA. First of all, shout out to the dope people who sent me this shirt, Radical for Peace. This is not going to be a long message. This is just, you know, something that you either know or you haven't accepted. <clears throat> I know this is going to resonate in your core. Listen, we are ending a very important cycle. And as we go through this portal over the next five months and we step into an eclipse cycle that's all about value. Ooh, you know what sign I'm talking about. The North Node going into, you know what sign I'm talking about, Taurus. Some of y'all are still entertaining people in your life that don't give you 100%. I keep it 100. So, like, naturally, it would be foolish of me to expect any less. I'm not going to keep and give you 100 and I get less than that. Some of you are entertaining and keeping people in your energy and in your circle who give you 80%, 90%. 99% and you deserve nothing less than 100. I want you to actually meditate on this because this isn't necessarily something that you just discern in a day. Some of you do. Aquarians, you already know. Let me let me find out you an Aquarius. Let me find out you're an Aquarius son and and, and when we talk about who you are, we see things spiritually. So your spirit is the expression of your soul. In order to know the nature of someone's soul, tell them what's your name. So your soul is who you are on the inside, but your spirit is who you are. It's your expression. Let me find out you got an Aquarius spirit and you letting people uh, give you less than 100%. Because I can at least excuse every other, you know, you know, archetype. Aquarius, you got no excuse. Let me find out you an Aquarius accepting less than 100%. Uh-uh. I look up to y'all. So I'm, that's, all, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, some of y'all are, are accepting less than 100% from people. And then you have the nerve to make excuses for them. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. I'm telling you first. Shame on you. I want you to really meditate for the rest of the year coming into next year and really ask yourself, who in your life are you allowing to show up as less than 100%? If you even have to tell them to, then then you're wasting your time because you're showing up as 100. Now, 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 if you're not showing up as 100%, then you can't complain that other people aren't showing up as 100%. If, if 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 people aren't matching you, that's one thing. But if you're not coming at a hundred, you can't you can't. But you're coming at a hundred. So why are you allowing people to show up as less than a hundred and then make excuses for them? You don't have to tell anybody that hey, you should match me because you're showing up as a hundred. So it is what it is. This is just you know a very very important public service announcement. Are you allowing? energies around you to show up as less than 100 percent and why are you disrespecting yourself like that as you think about that and as you weed out these influences that are watch your life just become so much more abundant because the universe isn't going to send you you know experiences and people if you have less than 99 if you have 99 you know 98 90 percent MFers in your space. The universe is like, well, we're going to wait for this person to know their worth so that we can allow people who will show up 100 to come in there. And that starts with you because that's a reflection of your self-worth. And you're pretty much telling the universe you don't deserve 100% because you're dealing with people who don't match you. Like, literally think about that. Some of you are, at, this video is for you too if you're asking, how come I can't find my vibrational match? How come I can't find my vibrational match? Maybe you need to get those 80% motherfuckers out your space. You know damn well you shouldn't be entertaining these people showing 60, 50, 70%. Some of you are chasing people showing you like 50%. <laughs> Some of you are chasing people, showing you like 70%. Okay, what's going to happen is once you actually leave their energy, because even if you're not constantly thinking about that person, you're still in their energy. Once you take your power back and you decide, no, we're good, that person will come back. But until they come back as 100%, because some people will, some people you cut off at 70%, they're going to come back as 99%. And be like, oh my gosh, you leveled up. You're still missing the percent. So I don't know what you're doing here. 
but like, you know, congratulations. When you ready to keep it a hundred, I'm here. So if you don't believe me, just cut off all the people in your life with no explanation who are not coming up as a hundred. You don't have to explain yourself. You showed up as a hundred and watch them come back because most of these people are vampires and unconsciously they feed off your attention. So if they don't come back as a hundred percent, then you don't have to accept them back and stop giving these people attention who don't give you that like some of you are some of you are wondering why you're not attracting vibrational matches that see you as the royalty you are but then you're allowing yourself to be an option you're not a fucking option <laughs> you are not an do you know that do you know that some of you don't mind being on the side but you're a full course meal. So I don't I don't understand why you're playing these games with yourself in the universe. You know this is the pep talk you needed too. Okay, you're welcome in advance. But uh, make sure you do what's right by you and examine your life and see everybody in your life that gives you less than 100%. And make sure you yourself are not giving yourself less than 100%. Don't play yourself like that. Okay, other than that, I hope you enjoy this message. Magic moon message for Sag moon coming soon. I'm going to do that tomorrow. And until next time, peace. Oh, I didn't turn it off, huh? Let me do it again. Peace.